last episode for now. I'm not, my I see you're hosting. <laughs> Hello, we Georgia Board. I've done the hosting for years. <laughs> Georgia Wood Society for giving me a bit of support to give me an idea to make this project for YouTube. Remember the website if you'd like to book a ride. We Georgia Wood, the Black Engine and Fans, Series 3, Episode 5. A New Hope for we George of Ward. The sixties came. We George of Ward was doing the work of the goods. He worked in the mine for forty years. He likes it. However, his railway was not really needing to remain open because, like money on anything, prices can hurt. With Georgia was beginning to think he wouldn't be ready for the future years. One evening, when 1964 came, the year Roy Robinson made a song, Pictured Woman, he received bad news from his master. Due to your railway closing with Georgia and jobs finishing because they're running short for you, I'll have to sell you, I'm afraid. We Georgia was shocked. Who to? he asked. I, 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 I can't, I can't tell you. The next day will be We'll do the last mine work, then you'll be put in the museum. It's a bit painful for me that you'll go to someone else. And he left, leaving we George into thoughts. The next day, he did his last work for the day. He took the coal 
Once delivered, he went to his shed to wait in his fate. This was where his future started, and it has. He was put in the museum for a few years after his line was closed. He heard no reply from his father, from his driver. A little girl named Edna visited him. She noticed him looking sad. What's wrong with Georgie? she asked. I've been sold, Edna. My line's been closed, and what fate I have is the museum. I mean, I don't feel at home. Cheer up, old boy. The world won't forget you. You're the... Apart from when my mother nearly got run over from you, that lady said rude words of me, and it made me upset. Whatever she said to you, it's best they're forgotten. Next year was the 1970s. Edna visited we George Ward. She wanted to visit him because he was her friend. Before he visited him, she ran into a man who seemed to be visiting him too. This man was respectful, kind, and to her surprise was interested of change. Hello, Graham, said Edna. Were you visiting the museum too? Yes, I was. I heard the engine we Georgia would wants to be out of the museum to see outside, said Graham. I'm just about to talk to him after I met his first driver. So they went to visit the engine together. We Georgia looked up. Meet Graham Hart. We Georgia, he might help you. I've heard you were out of service in 1964 and was put in this museum. What's with the long face? My railway's lost and I feel like a homeless object that has no life in this museum, sir. What can you do to get me out of this mess? I heard the manager say that I might be sent to the scrapyard. The manager came up. Were you talking about not letting me take him to the scrapyard, he asked. Yes, we are, said Crane. I have been wanting to help this engine. The business of scrapping him is not the way to treat his life. Graham had been to museums and had been thinking of driving an engine. He had a heart of wanting to bring back with Georgia Wood's life. How much does he cost to buy? Oh, I can't tell how much he costs, sir, but I think with my permission you might ask me. We might get him restored. We'll start carving his line first, then... It's a deal. Hearing this, we Georges started to feel pleased, but he wasn't sure if the people at the scrapyards would let him. He had some threats given to him from a lot of times. The ages came as they were carving the railway it took a long time to make. When they finished, one of them noticed a man who was not pleased. He was a poor railway board that was kicked out because his personality was causing the trouble. He was told from the scrapyard that the manager had turned against him. What's this? he asked. You two are not meant to take out engines from museums. There is the law. Uh, 
that I have planned. If I have have it says that you, they could be scrapped for money making. He was stupid, of course, because Graham had known him from his school university. There is no law from you unless you make it unpoor, which you haven't, so go away. Really? Well, let me get that engine so I can show you why you can't take him out. Hmm. He ran off. Edna and Graham quickly went to the car to beat him to the museum. We Georgia Wood was waiting, and the manager was keeping him company. He was getting in the store ready for his surprise, but the poor railway board came to stop his escape. Stay away from that engine, crib! You're trying to break the law of taking him out. For the last time, Spam, you little git, leave him alone. Graham has brought him, and that's that. I saw you in your car, and had called the police which they've come in for you. At that moment, they came in and dragged him away. Just as Graham and Edna came in, thanks for stopping him. He was just wanting to stop us buying him. He got kicked out in the 70s when he was caught in trouble of not doing the right thing. He told them he was a naughty boy wanting to be rich, but had a lot of failures. After his first job as a barman, they all agreed Span had the same personality in the twenties. After we Georgia Wood was restored, he was taken from a truck to his first home. To his surprise, he could see it was already finished. What's this? He gasped. Your home. We made it into a tourist attraction. But we can't make it seem big, said Edna. One of you must have got information from my first driver. He told you, Graham, who said he didn't tell me who I was sold to. You've been sold to us because the world can't forget you. You're the blood of Tanner and the heart of it too, and you ought to take the tourist rides for the years to come. We George Wood smiled a smile he hadn't told for years. Oh, thank you. I thought I was a goner. You have done quite well, and the same to you, Edna, my dear. We George Wood was very pleased to have his line carved. He does the rides to other, the other side and back. Many people visited him and became his friends. And ever since having a friend, the manager, from the museum to take care of him, he never suffered losses. Not once. <laughs>
cheap as you. My third series is a great success. Yes, it is with George Wood. End of We George Wood. The Black Engine and Friends. Series 3. I hope you've enjoyed them all. Season 4 come up next. The new story telling Mr. Christopher James Rush likes to thank the We Georgia Wood Society for their support of giving him an idea. You and Doreen, you two Doreen Smith and Graham Hart would like to know about the project of your engine. You you will be proud of him for making it. And if you watch it, you'll say, Oh, Chris has done a project of our engine, friend. How great. <clears throat> anyway, time for me to go. <laughs>